Hey everyone, so let's look at the encrypted words question, which is in the recursion section here. That's not too hard of a question if you know the basics of recursion here, but uh, let's, let's go through it. So the question is about uh, a string, so you're given a string and you're supposed to encrypt it. That's the word they use, and that means doing the following. So you find the middle character of the string, and if S has an even number of characters, then middle here is defined as, as the left of the two central, the left character of the two central characters. So you take that one, you append it to a new string, right? And then you append the encrypted version of the substring of S that's to the left of that middle character. And then you append the encrypted version of the substring that's to the right of that middle character. So let's look at the example here that they give at the very bottom. So if the input string is Facebook, then you're supposed to output this. So the way you get this is you look at the two, well, this has eight characters, right? Face, face and book. So the middle two are E and B, uh, and the one on the left is E. So you take this E, you stick it out front, and then you've got two other substrings. You've got FAC and you've got book, right? Um, so then you apply the function to this substring and to this substring, right? So if you apply it to FAC, uh, first you're going to get the A and then FC. And then if you apply it to this, um, the, the middle character is going to be this one. So the B comes out. Um, actually, yeah, first the O and then the B and then the O and the K. So let's, let's try to code this up. Uh, so there are two cases, right? Uh, one case where the length of S is odd and one where it's even. So if the length of s mod 2 equals 1, so that's the odd case, right? Then let's try to find the index of the middle character. So m for middle, um, it's going to be, well, you got to kind of figure this out, but I think it, it's going to be the following. So length of s minus 1, and you divide that by 2. And that's going to be a float in Python here, so I'm just going to turn that back into an int. Uh, let's see, is that right? Yeah, I think th I think that's right. You got to think about this one a little bit, uh, but this ends up being correct, I think. And then the other case is when the length mod two is not one, so it's going to be zero, which means the length is well, the, the string consists of an even number of characters, right? So in that case, the middle one is going to be uh, length of s over 2, over 2 minus 1, and then let's turn that into an int, um, like that. OK, so now we found the index of the middle character. Now we're almost done. Now we have to do, we have to return a new string here, right? So let's return. Uh, the character, the build character, right? That's the first task, the first step here. So how do we get the first character of the string? So that's gonna be just S at M. And then we're gonna concatenate that to, to two other strings, right? So the first one is, uh, well, we apply this function to that first substring, right? So here's where the recursive call is gonna come in. So we do, we call, the function we're defining here, which is find encrypted word of what now? So it's going to be s uh, from the beginning all the way up to m, excluding m here, right? And then plus, I'm going to copy this, plus the other substring, right? And that is going to be everything after m. So it's going to be m plus 1 to the end of the string. Now, uh, in some cases, at some point here, once you recurse enough, this is going to end up being a, uh, the empty string. So we got to handle that as our base case here. Um, so if s is actually the empty string, s, then, well, in that case, we can just return the empty string or return s simply, right? So with this, I think we should basically be done. Let's let's try to run it and see if it works.
see if we pass the, the test cases here. Okay, we passed our test cases. Of course, maybe you should write your own just to check uh, that it works because there are only two test cases here, but uh, I think this code is right. And in terms of complexity, I think the time complexity would be n log n and the space complexity would be log, uh, would be just O of n. And the way I think of it is that I, th I think it's similar to merge sort because you're, you're dividing up the, uh, the string or the list or whatever into two and then you're combining it here at the end. Um, so if you look at, if you wanna understand the time complexity and the space complexity of this, have a look at the complexities for merge sort and see if uh, it makes sense to you that they, it would be the same as, as here. Um, but let me know what you think in the comments. All right, thanks very much.